I came from a policy background and I was kind of pulled into comms or I kind of jumped in because I thought it was interesting and I thought because what's really important about comms is to be able to, to translate the complex, because policies are really complicated, into the simple. I think the kind of people who do it well are the people who get a real, have a real good understanding of the different disciplines. They understand what it is to be a journalist, they understand like what's the point of cutting through with a message, like what's the story about. Um, the people who understand policy, because after all in Brussels you often communicate to change policy. I guess the third thing is to have a good message, is that it has to be able to cut through on social media. So above all, it has to be like super simple, super clear and really engaging. Like something that you just really want to see when you're scrolling down your social media feed, it's like all of this. And then what stands out, what really jumps out to you. And like the dream message is something that can be an image as well. It's something that really like touches your soul. It's a day-long course and it's very structured, so it's a step-by-step -step series of building blocks which then are able to, when people leave the room, they're able to come out with a really confident um, methodology that they've actually absorbed in how to do messaging better. Um, and we start pretty much with a kind of three uh, parts to the day, which is one is about the gap analysis. So that involves like what is the audience really thinking about? What do you, how can you kind of break through in terms of getting a connection, building a messaging bridge between yourself and them? And once you have done all the analysis, you're able to build up your messages, like what's the offer? Beyond the three, the classic kind of three messages, like what's the big idea that you're really going to convey to people that's actually going to change their mind or change their hearts? So that's what you're really aiming towards. And of course, once you have that, then it's about simplicity, uh, clarity, making things like super um, wow in terms of the presentation, the structure and the words and the terminology you use. So that's pretty much the day. I would say number one, know your audience. Like understand what they uh, think uh, now about your issues so you can really unpick their emotions and to be able to craft a message which is going to fit with their needs. What do they want to hear? Um, what do they want to hear from you? You're connecting with them, you're actually engaging them with them. Um, and so I guess uh, beyond, um, uh, beyond understanding the audience, getting your message right is like create a, can a channel of engagement. One, be authentic, don't communicate stuff you don't believe. Two, is to embrace comms into whatever um, area of work you're in. Communication is so important to be able to communicate um, the value and the passion about what you do to your colleagues or to other parties outside the organisation. So communication matters to everybody.